Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 6, 2019. So my goodness, yesterday, the bears, whew, they were out to play big time yesterday as we started running into some serious ramifications um, from a China response yesterday. First, we had China um, um, removing all ag, uh, ag purchases from uh, their deal there. They're backtracking on everything. And also, we saw them devalue their currency substantially yesterday, creating uh, tremendous fluctuations in uh, currencies around the world. And ultimately, worrying the market that uh, the trade war had to uh, de-evolved into a very, very dangerous uh, currency war. So yesterday we saw some heavy selling in the market that really persisted throughout the day, except right at the end of the day, we ended up catching just a little bit of rally. If we look at the diamonds here, we ended up falling all the way to the 200 day moving average, wiping out about three quarters of the move from June, um, just wham in four days. So very, very harsh, um, sell off here. Very, very steep sell off. And during the night, um, uh, right after the bell, the U.S. Commerce Department uh, labeled China as a currency manipulator, sending futures even lower um, in the evening session. As a matter of fact, futures were pushing down below 600 points um, early in the evening yesterday, suggesting a possible ugly gap down of 600 plus points this morning. However, cooler heads did finally prevail. China stepped up and stabilized its currency last night. And um, not only have the futures recovered those um, awful losses, but they have actually come into the positive this morning. So tremendous volatility for us to deal with in this market it's not going to be comfortable it's going to be pretty wild and crazy price action but at least we have stabilized just a little bit here um, during the night so let's take a look at our chart and see what's going on if we take a look at the diamonds here knowing that we tested that 200 day moving average and and bounced off of that um, we um, we're looking for a morning open right in here right now now I, I say we're looking for that morning open right now but it's still very early and we still have a massive number of earnings to move through more than 400 companies or excuse me right at 400 companies reporting earnings today so lots of possible volatility in the morning open but right now we're getting this big sigh of relief from uh, traders and investors that maybe currency war at least for the moment has been averted so let's take a look and see what we can see here in this chart one of the things that we have to pay attention to is once we break down through levels of price support they immediately come that concern point, that place where we could run straight into resistance. So as we rally this morning, you can see these resistance levels I have marked in the chart. And by the way, these go back considerably into, into this level. This red line here, pretty darn um, heavy resistance area um, in this chart. So let's watch that closely. If we begin to rally back up, if we start a little bit of relief or recovery rally we'll want to watch these levels of price resistance if we can break through this one watch the next one as we maybe come back up i would like to see us at least fill this gap that we created yesterday in that rally back i can't tell you that that's what's going to happen and i certainly wouldn't want to predict that in any way shape or form but it would be really nice if we did fill that gap now once we rally back to these resistance points we have to be very watchful for the possibility 
of a failure pattern. If a failure pattern occurs somewhere in or around any of these resistance levels, and, and it doesn't have to be down here, it could be all the way back up here. But if we get a failure pattern, we have to recognize that for what it is. And that would be the higher, or excuse me, lower high in the establishing of a downtrend in the market. So although it's going to be wonderful to maybe experience a relief rally here to take the pressure off the market, we cannot assume that we are out of the woods here because we're still traveling down this uh, very dangerous road um, in this uh, trade war with China. And who knows, who knows what the market reaction will actually be. So stay very focused to the price action and expect high implied, uh, high volatility to continue. If you're a option trader, that high implied volatility is going to make all of your options much more expensive. The time value goes way up and um, we could we're just going to, going to experience a very challenging period here for a little while as the market sorts through all the emotions that they're dealing with um, at the moment. The uncertainty. So um, watch this pretty closely, but it looks like we have a bullish open starting. Now, one of the things I would suggest, and even though it has certainly... Uh, the odds seem to have certainly diminished significantly. Anytime we see a gap up open like this, after with such an emotional market, we cannot rule out the possibility that we retest lows. Okay, we've all seen that pop and drop pattern. No one wants that to occur, and I get that, and hopefully that doesn't, but we cannot rule that out for a possibility. So what that means is we need to stay very, very focused to price action. We need to remain very disciplined uh, to our rules and um, stay focused and on our toes because anything is possible with so much volatility in the market. Let's take a look at... Um, the SPY, SPY getting a significant rally this morning. We're seeing uh, the futures push this up pretty substantially here this morning. Now, one thing that's a concern is the SPY never made it back to its 200-day moving average. So it's kind of floating out here in midair. What's going to be really critical for the SPY is it recovers some level of price support recover some level and then proves that it can hold if we can get up in here hold a price support level in the chart and if you look back here this is a significant level of price support and that's really what it looks like we reacted to yesterday we bounced uh, very very close to that level but now we need to prove that we can hold these areas as support. If we begin to rally, once again, remember, we have to watch pretty closely for that possibility of a failure and that lower high that sends us into a market downtrend. So watch that pretty closely as, um, as the market um, unfolds this uncertainty. Um, Going to be a lot of back and forth, a lot of nervousness, a lot of emotion continuing to spill out of this market. So let's watch these levels of price resistance as um, we do move up. Um, it, it's really nice to, to, to see that relief rally. And, and once again, I would like to see this gap from yesterday get filled. We'll have to watch, wait, and see if that happens. Um, again, that's not a prediction. It's more of a want than anything else. But if we can... Um, rally back up through that gap, that will relieve a significant amount of pressure and maybe um, somewhat stabilize market emotions. So let's watch that pretty close today. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also getting a nice rebound this morning. Futures pushing them higher here after uh, China stabilizes its currency. And once again, it's going to be really, really important that we recover and hold some support level in the chart. Now we did catch price support right through here in this chart. And that's fairly significant price support that runs back quite a ways. But let's also keep in mind, we failed to touch that 200-day moving average, 
which gives us the possibility that we may still want to seek lower lows here in the market. Let's hope that that doesn't occur. Let's hope this uh, stabilization of the currency provides us that rally and we can find some support in these upper levels of price support. Once again, we have this big gap that needs to be filled here um, on the chart. Hopefully we could fill that gap before we start seeing more failure um, potentially creeping up in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM. Um, this has been such a sick puppy for so long um, in a downtrend here. Um, giving up significant levels of price support yesterday. Moving all the way back down in here to test this level. But IWM is certainly not looking good overall as a chart. Much more bearish than the other three indexes. However, having said that, IWM is looking for a bounce back today as well at least this morning, looking for that rally back up. If it can break above this support area and hold it as support, we may have that opportunity to rally back up, maybe fill this gap, and maybe come up in here and retest that level of resistance. So watch this closely. There's going to be, going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of back and forth here in the market that we're going to have to deal with. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. The VIX um, spiking heavily yesterday, running right up in here, testing this level of price resistance, looking a bit on the parabolic side, uh, stretching up here, but I want you to notice that's not abnormal. Um, we've done this before. So hopefully we can have a little bit of a cooler head today and see this pullback in the morning gap up would suggest that as well get a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback in that volatility. But let's also keep in mind that doesn't necessarily mean we come all the way back and everybody gets nice and warm and cozy again uh, with the market. There's going to be an awful lot of volatility to deal with and a lot of back and forth. We could see big price swings. We could see big gap up opens, big gap down opens um, with volatility this high. So keep that in mind and plan your trading carefully when we see this kind of volatility it's it 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 really lends itself uh, to being um, a a day trading market that quick day trading market rather than a swing trade position trading market because of the intense volatility that we're seeing now any pullback in here we have to watch carefully any higher low that is held as support gives us that that worry that concern that we could once again spike back up so we can see that right over here where we bounced around held these support levels in the chart and then eventually we went on higher in our fear so let's watch that carefully um, keeping keeping an eye on that vix we don't want to see that occur but doggone it it's happened before and it can certainly happen again so let's um just make sure we plan carefully around this volatility don't just assume that the market's going to quickly smooth out and everything's going to go back to normal that may not be the case let's take a look at t2122 this is the four week new high new low ratio and i'd have to say this is probably one of the more bullish uh, signals for today and that is the fact that we have reached this oversold condition down here in the market pretty painful on how it moved down there but we've kind of reached that oversold condition now don't use that as um, as a signal that we just must um, immediately rally all the way back up let's take a look right over in here we had periods of time where T2122 remained down here in this bullish reversal zone for a while as we bounced around. And we had big price swings when we did that. We swing way high and came all the way back. So watch that carefully. We may not be out of the woods here for this wild volatility in the market. And I would not rule out the possibility of that pop and drop pattern today um, where we gap up in the morning and then we push all the way back down to retest those lows 
So we could stay down here for a little while. Watch that carefully um, as the day goes on. But right now, this is suggesting we have reached that bullish reversal zone. And hopefully that re relief rally will begin here soon. Let's take a look at, oh, by the way, even though it may suggest a relief rally could begin soon, it, it gives us no indication as to how much of a relief rally, how sustained that relief rally might be, or um, whether or not it really actually um, recovers much of the price action of the market. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is not an indication of uh, a, a certain indication of how much or how far a market may recover. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar may have just a slight amount to say about what happens. Today we have the JOTS report coming out at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I doubt that that with all the emotion in the market, with all the earnings and everything going on, that's going to be a major driver for movement in the market. It'd be more likely a tweet or some kind of surprise news from China or something that would move us dramatically. But we do want to pay attention to that. We also have a Fed speaker here at 1 p.m. I doubt we'll learn anything new, but certainly want to pay attention to those when um, those Fed speakers are out talking. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar. We have about 400 companies reporting earnings today, and they're coming in pretty fast and furiously this morning. And um, that always means that we have some price volatility around that. Since I have started this video this morning, we've already changed. We've, we've moved up about another 50 points in the Dow, now suggesting about a 270, 280 point gain in the market at the open. So keep that in mind. As those earnings reports come in, we're gonna, going to continue to experience this wild volatility and wild price action. So be very, very careful and be prepared for that big whip that could occur after the open where we could whip higher, whip lower um, in rapid succession for a little while as this market tries to stabilize and calm down just a little bit from all of this um, high, high emotion uh, that we're dealing with now. <clears throat> So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this has been a really, really challenging period of the market, but it's not odd. It's happened before, and, and unfortunately, it will happen again. Um, eventually, we have to always be on our toes and be prepared for this kind of thing to occur, and that's why it's so important. I think, to do this kind of market preparation. And the purpose of these videos is to help everyone with that market preparation to look at the market and the possibilities that could occur. If you find this helpful, if you find this useful, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified when these videos are posted every single market day. And also, um, do me a favor if you feel the video is worthy today, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, any kind of comment, even a happy face, a thumbs up, anything like that helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. You guys are so kind and, and, and the, the comments that you leave behind, I truly, truly appreciate. Um, you guys are the best. You are responsible for our growth and we just passed 6,500 subscribers um, yesterday. So thank you everyone it's it's all you um, I do my best to provide good content quality content but we wouldn't grow without you um, subscribing and leaving those uh, thumbs up and comments thank you so much for that you guys are awesome um, I truly truly appreciate you so with that everyone let's take a look at some things that could be setting up, but we're going to have to be really, really careful with uh, trades today. There's not a whole lot of great stocks out there to be looking at that uh, uh, because of price volatility and, and those kind of things. Um, but there are some charts that have held up really, really well. Take a look at Snap. Snap um, tested this price support in here 
of this gap up on earnings, leaving a bit of a hammer pattern. Now that needs a follow through. We need to recover um, here in the market. And if Snap can move on higher, we could be in pretty good shape. Unfortunately, right now it looks like Snap is not doing that this morning. In fact, it looks like it's pushing back down. So although this is worthy of watching, we're going to have to be very, very careful here on these charts because of the price volatility that we're experiencing in the market. So uh, be very watchful of that. Also, kind of keep an eye on stocks like um, AT&T. AT&T is one of those areas where um, folks will run to um, these relatively secure stocks, these old stodgy companies with high dividend yields. AT&T has had this really light pullback. It didn't get involved in the big selling of the market. So if AT&T begins to recover, that may be one of those places where you might be able to catch some bullish moves in the market. Now, one of the reasons I'm not showing any short trades here this morning is simply because we don't want to chase the short trade down it is equally bad to chase a long trade up as it is to chase a short trade down so when we start looking for short trades we need to see that relief rally back in those resistance levels holding in the market so in any chart that you're looking at that you're thinking short require that to move back up find that resistance level and show you that failure that would be the place to start considering a potential short trade with a stop loss close don't chase a short it can really be punishing particularly if you happen to get caught in that relief rally so stocks that had those modest pullbacks those um, modest resting um, resting pullbacks are the kind of stocks you want to be looking for um, today um, or this week in charts. Take a look at KHC. KHC is a relative is a defensive sector stock, and although it pulled back pretty sharply here, it's still holding above its 50-day moving average. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern, and. Um, you can see KHC is indicated a little bit higher here this morning. So if we can start seeing some of these defensive sector stocks where folks will run to for um, that protection, those old companies with dividend yields that are pretty high, we can, uh, there may be opportunities in those trades. You might also want to take a look at utilities um, and also precious metals. Those are places where folks can pick up some relative security overall now don't rule out some of these um, really not you know really big companies that have seen an awful lot of selling but what we want to do is we want to wait for that rally back and then proof that they can hold a higher low before we get too involved in chasing into uh, those kind of trades and rushing into it we have to be really really careful on how we're going to um, handle these moves um, overall when you take a look at charts like TTWO reporting yesterday got caught in this ugly, ugly selling um, in the market. Going to be some rough, rough times for these markets to come back. Microsoft um, yesterday, <clears throat> this very, very stable company that had reported great earnings also getting caught up. But it has, it has at least at this point holding on near its trend area here. And so if this rallies back up like it's indicating this morning, we could start catching that little bit of lift here in the market, a little bit of relief. So as bad as it is, um, it could be a lot worse. Hang on, it could be a rough and very bumpy day. And I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. I appreciate you so much for, uh, for watching these videos. Thank you very much. And I know for everyone out there, it's been very, very challenging. If you suffered some substantial losses, maybe time to just take a little break, take a little breath. Don't try to revenge trade because you can make the situation worse, okay? Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.